welcome back to the Queen and Claire. I pray you guys are having a blessed day so far. If you're not having a blessed day, this one bless you. And I want to jump right into it. This is day, I don't know if I said it, but this is day 32 devotional. Okay, so it says, My child, trust and believe I have never been defeated. I am the king of victory, not the king of victims. I became a victim in your place on the cross so that I could give you a new identity as a victor through me. I want this truth to so deeply sink into your heart that it, beco it becomes a part of you. There is no trial, test, or battle that I will ever allow you to enter without your predetermined mind. I'm sorry, predetermined, predetermined victory and totally and total healing already being established. This complete salvation, healing, and deliverance belongs to you, but you must be willing to take hold of it and enforce my victory won on the cross by applying my blood and my word to your life for you to receive all its benefits. I am the Lord your God who fights your battles for you. As you simply stay connected to me in quiet, in quiet confidence, you will watch as we subdue every enemy under our feet. For I am the God who stands up for my people. Together we will collect the spoils of war and share the strategies of your own private victories with those who are struggling in their own battles. Love Daddy God, who stands up for you. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And let's pray this together. So, Father, we thank you for securing, for securing our, to, um, for securing our total healing, deliverance, and salvation. You are a strong place, and we can run into and find safety for our soul under your wings. We find shelter and courage to stand against the enemy and enforce the victory you already won for me. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And let's decree this together. Father, we decree that we receive all the benefits of the precious blood of Jesus over our life and we decree the DNA of our Father God is, o is overriding the corrupted DNA of our human ancestors. And we decree the blood of Jesus separates us from all unrighteousness. And we decree the blood of Jesus pleads a um, better word than the blood of our ancestors. And we decree all, we decree we renounce, um, we renounce every spirit passed down to us through generational sin, iniquity, and command it to be broken off and our, um, um, from us and our children forever onward. And we decree the blood of Jesus has nullified every generational curse in our bloodline. And we decree we will pick up the torch our forefathers dropped and carry on our family's God-ordained destiny and assignment to completion. And we decree we receive our spiritual in, um, inheritance through God to accomplish the mandate on our life. And we decree the blood of Jesus has opened long-awaited generational promises and blessings to us and our offspring. And we decree that we read and apply the word of God to our life because the word of life has power to continually deliver us. Hallelujah, Father. And we just seal this now, God, by your blood. And by your spirit, Lord, in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the scripture for today is in Hebrews 12, 1. It says, As for us, we have all of these great witnesses who encircle us like clouds. So we must let go of every wound that has pierced us and the sin we so easily fall into then we will be able to run life's marathon race with passion and determination, and determination for the path has been already marked out before us. Hallelujah. That path is already 
it, it's already been set in place for 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 you and for me. It's our choice if we want to walk into it. It's our choice if we want to follow God's path, follow that destiny that's, that's already been prepared for us. When when we were in our mother's womb before we were born, God already knew our destiny. God already already um predestined us already what we, we, we were gonna do for this future for this world you know it's an amazing thing to see because as you see how you really discover in the word of god how god created you how why we are here what's our purpose our, our um, assignment and when he speaks to you or when he gives you those words and when he wants you to do something and you're led by a spirit it's very different it's very different because before people didn't really I did I didn't really know you know and I tell people you have destiny you know you have greatness upon your life you matter to the Lord and I tell them to seek after God that's this is the main thing I tell them you seek after the Lord and he will tell you what your path is you know your destiny what are you supposed to be doing and, and when they do that you know it could be anything it could be um, a, a sort of job any type of thing that God told that God told them to do, that He spoke to them and said, "I want you to do this." They're they're accomplishing their um the mission, and I'm not gonna be like, I don't think God told her to do that. No, I don't, I don't know what the conversation they had between them. You know, I don't know what they talked to with God. I don't know if they said they're gonna do that. Okay, because God wants to use them in that area, and that other person. God puts him for that area. So it's all different sort of things. You know, God's not gonna God's not gonna be using that um that same person for the same thing, you know. Even for me, you know, God's not gonna tell this person to do the same thing as I'm doing, you know. They could start a live stream of course, but it is different, you know. God will give him different ideas, strategies. So you just have to ask the Lord, you know, Lord, what is my path? What is my destiny? And I believe when you do that, I believe when you seek the Lord on that, you let go of all your desires, all of your own ideas, and you just step into that realm of Father God. You know what? Just step in that realm of the Spirit, Lord. I, I, I get out of my soul, and I just step into what you have for me, Father. And when you do that, new... No, no, no doors will open for you, you know, new things will open and it will just, it will just be made clearer, it will just be made clearer. And I pray that for every single one of you, you know, you seek the Lord on that and when you do, it will all just, it will all just come in steps, you know, it's all about timing, it's all about timing and it will happen, it will happen. You just have to pray for it, you just have to seek the Lord and I believe that it, it will happen and you have to believe it, you know, you stand on the word of God, you stand on the scripture. And my scripture for this whole YouTube ministry that I, that me and God started back in 2021, 2 Corinthians 5.17, new creations. I say that because I see people as a new creation in Christ. I don't see their mistakes. I don't see where they've fallen short. I don't see where they've messed up like you. I, I, I don't see that where, where you've... Um, made mistakes i don't see where you fall in short i don't see where you just messed up and are done for no i see you as a new creation in christ so that's my whole foundation where i built this whole youtube ministry me and god have built this whole youtube ministry on that scripture so you have to find the scripture that you are standing on and you are believing for to have a healing to have supernatural miracles uh, a, a job promotion you have to have that scripture in the word of god Okay, so guys, I love you so much. God loves you. God bless you. And like it, share, comment, do whatever you got to do. Get the word out. Uh, maybe if I need someone share this with them, I'm gonna be, I want to be a blessing to God's people. And guys, I love you. God loves you. God bless you. And I will see you on Wednesday for another new me. So, I love you guys. God bless you.